Well, hey guys, I'm Nick, and welcome back to Cyphernetics. Well, today we're talking about the last episode of Season 2, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, the season finale, uh, episode Hegemony, which is our big Gorn showdown episode for the season. It's going to be epic. And today we have a sneak peek scene to have a look at, and we've also got some other bits and pieces to have a look at as well. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video to check them out as well after the sneak peek scene. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty tense episode, this one. There's got a lot of action and a lot of tension and some questions as to whether all of our characters are going to make it through uh, the end of the season. It's a bit of a question mark there. It's going to be a, a pretty exciting season finale, I think. Firstly, I'll take a look at the sneak peek scene and we're going to break that down shot by shot and everything. And then after that, we'll take a look at some other shots from uh, on the episode and see if we can work out uh, exactly what's, what's kind of going down in our season finale of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. But before we get into our sneak peek scene of the episode, here's a very, very quick sponsored message. Here at sci Annex, I admit, I get to be a big kid surrounded by all my collectibles talking about my favourite TV shows. But growing up, I left my fun childhood cereals behind. But hey, not anymore, because thanks to Magic Spoon, I enjoy a bowl of delicious cereal that's even better than how I remember it as a kid. This is cereal for the 21st century, because Magic Spoon boldly goes where no adult cereal has gone before. Awesome, delicious natural flavours, including cocoa, fruity, frosted, and my favourite, peanut butter. And the best part, there's zero sugar and packed with protein, making it a great choice for keto fans too. It's a bowl of fun that's never boring and is the perfect meal for any away mission. For that early 80s Saturday morning cartoon vibe, I can now grab a bowl and a spoon, splash on some milk, throw on a Trek episode, and kick back to enjoy a healthy mouthful of flavour to engage the taste buds that will encourage me to live long and prosper. 12 grams of protein and under 2 grams of sugar. Hmm, I might replicate another bowl. Just remember to use the code Cyphernetix for a discount. No assumptions here. Spot. Scan for life signs and escape pods. We don't know what happened to that crew. My scans are not functioning. Communications too. Transporter is down as well. Well, this is not looking good at all. The Cayuga is toast. This ship has been completely trashed by the Gorn. Clearly they've undergone a pretty horrific attack there uh, in orbit of this planet. The worry and the look on Pike's face to think the Captain Battelle is uh, is no more. But as he said, no assumptions. Uh, we've got to keep an op optimistic mind here. Maybe the crew's down on the planet's surface. Maybe there's some uh, escape pods floating around somewhere that they can uh, rescue. Uh, so yeah, even though the ship is just completely toast, let's keep a bit of optimism here just, just in case some people survive because it, it doesn't look good at all. What's going on? I detected counter frequency emanating from the planet. It appears to be negating all scans, communications and transporter signals between here and there. Any idea what's causing it? I believe the Gorn might have an interference field. A weapon to deploy during invasions renders their enemies blind, unable to communicate or move. So there's no way to beam anyone off that ship or the planet? That is correct, Captain. So this interference field seems like it's a pretty crippling uh, tactic by the Gorn. Obviously, if you can't communicate, you can't beam anybody up or down or anything, as we're going to find out later in some uh, little sneak shots of, uh, I've got after the sneak peek scene, I think we're going to see our crew uh, have to resort to using shuttlecraft to uh, to get down to the planet to, uh, to see what's going on, see if there's any survivors, and mount some sort of rescue effort. It does really look like they're quite hobbled. Uh, by this interference field on behalf of the Gorn, so it's uh, it's going to be a tricky one. And we need to think harder. When I last spoke with Captain Patel, she was on the surface, which means she's probably still there, along with a lot of her crew as well. Remember your training. Starfleet protocols would have any survivors of Cayuga trying to figure out a way to reach anyone who can listen. Comms are down, but we still have line of sight. She's right. Survivors could use that to send us signals. Fires, lights, smoke. Start observations. If there's anyone alive down there, I want to know it. Even though we're in the 23rd century, uh, all of our 23rd century technology uh, is really not helping us too much in this circumstances. I mean, if survivors of this attack have to resort to smoke signals and and flashing lights and everything, this interference field is really stepping them back into... Um, 
you know, almost like the Dark Ages, having to communicate with smoke messages, you know, much like the, you know, ancient American Indians did and everything. So uh, it's, yeah, throw everything out the window in terms of, uh, you know, modern technology. Uh, we've got to resort to, uh, you know, marooned on desert island ways of communication now, I guess. Incoming warp signature detected in orbit of Parnassus Beta. Red alert. Do we have visuals? Yes, Captain. I believe it is a Gorn Hunter ship. Lon, prepare phasers, but hold your fire. Phasers locked and holding, sir. Captain, I'm receiving a secure communications from outside of the interference field. It's from Starfleet. These Gorn Hunter ships are quite formidable. We saw them in action uh, during the season one, and uh, they're not to be trifled with. They're, they're very agile. They've got decent weapon systems on them, and they behave more like a fighter than they do a, a starship. So they're um, they're quite uh, difficult to take on, particularly in numbers. So hopefully they've just got one to uh, one to deal with now, and we're not going to get a whole uh, squadron of these guys uh, warping in. Because I think the Enterprise could be up for uh, punishment, much like we saw inflicted upon the Cayuga, if this is the case. What does it say? They've received a message from the. Gorn, sir. A message? Saying what? It's an image. Put it on screen. Stand by. It looks like a demarcation line. With the Parnassus Beta and all their forces on the far side of the line. Starfleet has ordered us to maintain our side of the line. Command crew, ready room now. Wow, so it looks like the Gorn has totally changed uh, their area of space. They're saying, right, this planet belongs to us now. We've changed the border between Gorn and Federation space. You're not allowed to cross this line anymore because we now, uh, we've taken over this planet and they've completely changed their borders to annex greater amounts of territory. Uh, only problem is, it's a pretty good chance the Kyogre's crew, whoever has survived, is still down on that planet. Uh, and obviously, um, Captain uh, Marie Battelle could be one of them and her, and obviously her crew. How do you mount a rescue effort down to a planet that you Starfleet has told you we cannot go down to? We cannot uh, um, trespass within this is now annexed Gorn space. So what do you do? Obviously, P Pike's calling his crew into the ready room to uh, talk about options here. But I fear that uh, there's going to be some breaking of some Starfleet orders here. They've been ordered not to cross the, the new uh, demarcation line, but Pike and his crew are going <laughs> to breach this line. Because as we've seen in a couple of the past Star Trek Strange New Worlds trailers, now what I'm going to do is go through the shots that we've seen before from the Star Trek Strange New Worlds trailers. And obviously because we have now seen the entire season of episodes apart from episode 10, I'm able to extract all of the shots that were in all of the preceding Star Trek Strange New Worlds trailers and just show you guys the shots from the past trailers that relate to episode 10. Let's go through uh, some of those shots from episode 10 uh, and see if we can work out what's, uh, what's happening here. Well, for starters, it seems like uh, Captain Battelle is down on this planet uh, when the Gorn invasion ship arrives. And this uh, area that they're on looks very Hill Valley-like. Uh, it's sort of like the town square in Back to the Future. And the Gorn are clearly taking uh, over this planet whilst um, Marie and her crew are down on an away mission. And at some point during the episode, Marie is going to have a uh, very close contact with a Gorn. Here we see a Gorn roaring right in her face. She's looking a bit battered and a bit uh, battle was scarred and everything. Oh no, is, does this mean uh, Captain Battelle isn't going to make it beyond the end of season two? Poor old Pike's going to potentially lose his girlfriend. So things are pretty tense here for uh, for Captain Battelle. It also seems we've got Spock on a bit of a anti-grav mission here over to the Cayuga. Nurse Chapel is with him there doing a bit of exploration of the wreckage. Uh, seems to be a Gorn in space or whatever there. Looking at the tail there moving down in the scene here. And they have to escape the wreckage of the Cayuga before it burns up in the atmosphere of the planet. Here we see them getting out of the ship as the uh, the the saucer section hits the atmosphere of the planet and it's crashing down into the planet's surface there. Because the um, interference field that's been set up by the Gorn, they can't use transporters. It looks like we've got Pike and an away team here using a shuttlecraft to go down to the planet's surface. So they've obviously had to fly through the debris field created by the Cayuga. We've got bits of wreckage and everything stuck to the, the hull of the, the shuttlecraft. 
and they enter the atmosphere in a very rapid way. Obviously Ortigas is using all of her piloting skills to get down to the planet as quickly as possible. Pike doesn't look like he's really enjoying the shuttle ride that much and I don't think anybody would. It, it looks like a pretty uh, pretty steep descent that she's got going on there. And it looks like we've also got a, a bit of a battle sequence taking place in orbit of the planet against multiple uh, Gorn uh, hunter ships as they hit the uh, Enterprise's shields or whatever. And it looks like based on the last frame of this shot we've obviously got uh, number one at the helm and uh, it seems like we've got maybe Mitchell next to her and then obviously Captain Pike is wearing his uh, away mission tactical uh, uniform for uh, for this uh, position on the bridge there, which we also see him wearing in this shot as well. So it looks like we're uh, we're in for a pretty exciting episode. I, I can't believe how quickly this season has gone. We've had some amazing episodes, and I think we're up for a big a big banger of an episode uh, in our season finale episode, Hegemony, the big Gorn finale episode of uh, of Star Trek's Strange New World season two. Uh, coming next week. Uh, can't wait for that one. Uh, guys, if you haven't subscribed to Cyphernatics yet, please don't forget to do so. Click on that big subscribe button to stay current and up to date with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. Don't forget to check out that great deal by Magic Spoon. Link is in the description for that one. Uh, if you haven't checked out my merch store, uh, until the uh, the 7th of, uh, of August, 20% off in the merch store. Huge sale. Uh, never normally gets any better than 20% discount. So here's a great opportunity for you to pick up a t-shirt or a hoodie or a mug or a cap or something. Um, great Star Trek designs there and, and, and sci-fi designs. Uh, you know, grab yourself something. They're all, <laughs> they're all done by myself. Put a lot of work into them and appreciate, uh, appreciate the, the support of the channel. Uh, I'll be back really soon with my next video. I'll catch you guys soon.